Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to clone a virtual machine from a snapshot in VMware Workstation. Alright, so clones are used to make copies of a virtual machine, so if you need an identical copy, uh, you could simply clone it and then use it as a separate computer on its own. Alright, so to do so, there are a couple things you need to consider. Alright, so we have this Windows 11 home computer here. If we go to the snapshot manager, You can see we have three snapshots here, and here's the current state right here. So let's say we pick this one here, File Explorer Fix, and let's say that's where we want to make our clone. Click on Clone. You see the Next button is grayed out and you can't continue. And also if you right-click Manage and you click on Clone again, and Next, and if you pick the option for Existing Snapshot, you can see we only have one of the options here for one of the snapshots, not for all the snapshots, like we saw here. We just have it for this option, and that is because these were made while the virtual machine was running. So if the VM is running and you make a snapshot, you cannot clone it from that snapshot. It has to be a snapshot that was made while it was powered off, and that's the name of this one here, Powered Off Snapshot. Okay, so we're going to click on this one here, click on Clone. And now we could either do the current state or the snapshot here. Like I said, that's the only one. Click on Next. Okay, so we could use the option Create a Link Clone, so it'll share the disks with the other original virtual machine. And you can see here it cannot run without access to the original virtual machine. So that's going to be up to you, but we're going to do an independent full clone here. So a complete copy of the original virtual machine in its current state. So you can see here it says the virtual machine is fully independent, but will require more disk space to store. So that's fine. Then you could uh, name it whatever you want. So we could do clone just for an example. Obviously, you're probably going to want to change the name, but just to make things easy, we're going to keep it with clone. And then you could change the location. It'll use your default location that you have in your settings to place it in. And of course, you could browse somewhere else and put it there if you like. All right, so the cloning might take a few minutes, so we'll have to pause and be back when it's done. Okay, so the clone is complete. Didn't take too long, so we'll click on Close. And then click on Close again. And now you can see it automatically opens it up in a new tab over here. And now we could power it on and see what happens. Okay, got a login screen, log in. All right, and there we go. Now we could go to the settings. And compare everything to what we had on the other virtual machine, which is correct here. Eight gigs, two processors, couple hard drives, and so on. So everything looks good. So once again, just go to your virtual machine. When it's powered off, you can't clone it when it's on here. Go to Snapshot. Go to Snapshot Manager. Find the snapshot that you want to choose. As long as it's not created when the virtual machine was running, you can see these have the play buttons on here. And this one doesn't. And then you can click on Clone. Then if you have more than one powered off snapshot, you could pick it from the list and then take it from there. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.